Welcome to the Open Dental WebSketch Recall and WebSketch ASAP webinar. In this webinar, we will discuss how to set up and use WebSketch Recall within Open Dental, how to change the default verbiage for messages sent, the different methods WebSketch Recall messages can be sent, how to send WebSketch ASAP messages to your ASAP list, and what patients will see for both features. Before setting up web schedule recall, your office first must ensure the office's schedule and recall types have already been set up. If you'd like further details on either of these steps, see the description in this video for more information. Once we've signed up for web schedule recall, we'll navigate to the web schedule recall setup from the e-services menu. One of the first things you'll want to decide is how soon you want patients to be able to schedule appointments for themselves. You'll enter this value in the search for openings after blank days field. In this example, we have a one entered, allowing the patients to schedule themselves after one day. If a two was entered, it would push the scheduling out two days. If you want patients to be able to schedule appointments same day, you can leave that field blank or a value of zero. Next, we'll select the operatories that we want to consider for patient scheduling. Double click into operatories considered then double click into the operatory itself and select the is recall checkbox. Patients will not be able to see these operatories only their available times. We'll go ahead and click OK and close. Once all the operatories have been selected, you should see a list of available times in the time slots window after selecting the corresponding recall type. If you're using clinics, make sure the proper clinic is selected here. Next, we'll click Recall Setup and set the frequency of when the reminders will send. In this example, we'll set the initial reminder to go out after 15 days, the second and subsequent reminders to go out after 30 days, and we'll set a max number of reminders of four. This is also where you can edit the templates directly by clicking into each of the templates. One thing to note for web schedule recall is the types to show in the recall list. The selected recall types will be what makes up your recall list, so the system will only send reminders to these types. If your office uses blockouts for notation purposes and the blockouts aren't intended to actually block patients from scheduling, you will need to add it in the Allow Blockout Types section here. In the lower left, the Prevent Double Booking checkbox will restrict the schedule so that the provider is not double booked if that provider is already on the schedule for that time. If a provider works in multiple operatories at the same time, consider unchecking this box. Feel free to ask our eServices team for more information about this. You also have the option to allow patients to select providers if there are multiple providers available at the practice with openings. The last step for web schedule recall is enabling the automation located in the lower right. In this example, we have it set to both send emails and texts. Text messages will not be sent if the patient has been sent to text no. Once the patient receives the text message, they'll be able to click on the link. Choose the time and date of their appointment, and finalize their appointment. All of this will take place immediately within Open Dental. Next, we'll move on to Web Schedule ASAP. Web Schedule ASAP allows you to quickly send text or email messages to patients about last minute appointment openings. In order for patients to show up on the list and receive messages, the patient must first have an appointment marked as ASAP. This can be done within the appointment itself. To send a web sketch ASAP message, right click the time you're looking to fill on the schedule and click text ASAP list. Then on the right side of the window, the web schedule ASAP, we'll go ahead and click send. 
here we can customize the text message as well as the email. And we'll see that we have the patient here marked as ASAP. Once we've sent the message, a blockout will be created for the time slot that we've selected so that no one in the office will manually put an appointment in that opening. The patient can click on this link. It will prompt them the date and time, and they can either accept or decline it. This will take place immediately. If any patients attempt to accept the invitation after it's already been accepted, they will be notified that this appointment is no longer available. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have additional questions, please call our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And to make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos, make sure you subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.